friends, I'm so glad that you're here. One of my favorite things to do is learn about Jesus with you. He's so wonderful, and every time we hear true stories about Jesus, I want to run and tell everyone I know all about Him so they can know and love Him too. I brought my walking shoes with me today. Bible Bunny invited me to go with him to tell his friends about Jesus later today. I can't wait. Oh, that reminds me of a true story from my favorite book. Do you remember what book that is? That's right, the Bible. God wrote the Bible and every word is true. He wrote it especially for me and for you. When we are quiet and listen, we will see how very much God loves you and you and you and me. Jesus has a job for all of his friends. He wants us all to go and tell everyone. Jesus loves them. And in today's true story, Philip is excited to go and tell everyone about Jesus. Our puppet friends would like to tell us today's true story. Let's fasten our seatbelts and turn on our listening ears all the way up. Great job. Let's watch. Stories of the Bible, Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, Hello. who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. This part here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Friends, before Jesus went to be with God, he gave you and me a job to do. He wants us to go and tell everyone that Jesus loves them. That's what Philip did in today's true story. And that's our big idea. Tell everyone Jesus loves them. Let's say that big idea together. Tell everyone Jesus loves them. I wonder if Bible Bunny has any Bible words to help us learn even more about our big idea. I think he does. He always does. Get bouncy with me and let's sing Bible Bunny's favorite song so he'll come and share God's words with us. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. Hi, Bible Bunny. We are so glad you're here. Do you see our friends? They're waving. Aw, you're waving too. I love it. Well, we learned a new big idea today and we want to tell you what it is. Are you excited to learn our big idea? All right, listening ears on, Bible Bunny. Friends, let's tell Bible Bunny our big idea together. Tell everyone Jesus loves them. You know, if we tell everyone about Jesus, Pretty soon, the whole world will know and love him too. And that's super exciting. Bible Bunny, we were wondering if you had any Bible words to help us learn even more about our big idea. You do? Yay, we're so excited. Okay, friends, 
turn on your listening ears so that you can hear God talk with you. Bible Bunny, we're ready. What does God want to say to us from the Bible today? Friends, you are going to want to hear what God wants to say to you today. Here's what God says in Matthew 28, 19. You must go. It is really exciting to know that God wants you and me to go and tell everyone Jesus loves them, just like Philip did in our true story today. Oh, friends, hold on. Bible Bunny would like to tell me something. Oh, we can help you, Bible Bunny. Friends, Bible Bunny wants our help. He wants to know who to go and tell that Jesus loves them. Friends, let's help Bible Bunny. You put your listening ears on and I will list some people that Bible Bunny can tell. Then I want you to jump up and shout, tell everyone Jesus loves them. Okay, listening ears on. Bible Bunny can tell his friends and neighbors that Jesus loves them. Are those people Bible Bunny can tell? Yes, jump up and shout. Tell everyone Jesus loves them. Good job, you guys. Bible Bunny, are we helping you? Great. Okay, friends, let's try it again. Listening ears on and get your lights ready. Bible Bunny can tell his aunts and uncles and cousins that Jesus loves them. Are those people Bible Bunny can tell? Yes, jump up and shout. Tell everyone Jesus loves them. Bible Bunny is so happy. He can't wait to go and tell everyone that Jesus loves them. Bible Bunny, thanks for coming to share Bible words with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Friends, does God love you and me even when we forget to go and tell everyone that Jesus loves them? Yes. And how much does God love us? This much all the time. And guess what? God will help us to remember to go and tell everyone that Jesus loves them. We know a song about going and telling everyone about Jesus. Let's sing. Mountains and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God. Oceans, mountains, and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great and I know, every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. I want to tell everyone about Jesus, don't you? Well, it's almost time to go. What's our big idea? Tell everyone Jesus loves them. Yes, I can't wait to tell everyone I see. Let's pray before we go. Let's be very quiet. 
Let's be very quiet. We fold our hands and bow our heads and pray to God. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. We love him so much, and we can't wait to tell everyone that Jesus loves them. Amen. Boys and girls, I had so much fun today. What's our big idea? Go tell everyone that Jesus loves them. Great job. Let's tell everyone we see that Jesus loves them. See you next time, friends. <laughs>